See how your right toe was turned in? Turn it out. There you go. And then you see how there you ended up pulling them in the last foot or two? Like wiggle your feet. So ride them ahead. Now just hold and don't pull. Just wiggle your feet. Try and get them to take step. Turn your right toe out so your calf muscle. There you go. Turn your right toe out. Don't lean. There you go. Keep wiggling your feet. You're not in the back. Keep wiggling. Just hold. There you go. There you go. Now pinch him. Now like pull him into the corner now. Now you now make him tuck by pinning him in the there. Now we'll go forward. Forward and out. There you go. That's what I want. There is a little truth to that bringing your rope up here rather than up over that shoulder. So get your toes set right so your feet can do the work. Get your reins right. Now you just hold, don't pull. Don't lean, like you're leaning on the left side of your horse for whatever, there you go. A little more, wiggle your feet, don't pull. Wiggle your feet. There you go, now pin them in that corner a tick. There you go, now nod and walk. Not now though, right. Walk, go ahead, walk. So you don't, don't, don't look for, for, uh, for him to be perfect right every time just under just let him understand that if he'll give a little bit right so you're turn around here just hold your feet are doing the work one step at a time when you get him to here and just squeeze with your feet tuck him up if he does that a little bit for a while it's good just because he's, he's giving he's trying like you got to reward the try and then just try and walk him out one Two, three, four. I want you to get in time with them feet. Walk them feet right into the corner. Your 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 feet control his hind feet. Your reins control his shoulders. Don't lean now. Use your feet to get them. To get them over, shorten your reins up. There you go. Turn your right toe out. There you go. And just walk them back. Keep moving your feet. There you go. Now pinch them a little bit into that corner. Pull and go. Go, go, go. Try and walk. Walk. So again, remember we talked last night about um, pushing them into the bridle rather than just turning the bridle loose when you leave yeah. the corner. So I want you to feel that a little bit when you walk out of there. Instead of just huck the reins to them, use your body to push them into that bridle. Shorten your reins up. Do your job to be as in best control that you can be. Just hold. Don't pull. Don't lean. There you go. Take your time. One. Now pinch him in that corner a little bit. Okay. Now when you go to go, right there, now push. Push and leave. Don't just let go. Just push him into that bright. There you go. Nicer. Them forward into that bridle. Just let go just a smidge and go. There you go. That's what we want. That's what we 
we want. Get good at that. Range is shorter. And you got a little better control and I don't pull. Use your feet. Pinch them in that corner. <laughs> See, the difference is that for the camera's sake, that camera didn't see last night. So John come in here, his feet were doing nothing, uh, pulls his horse to the back of the corner. Uh, then he gets here, then the reins go kind of a little bit slack. His feet are still doing nothing. Horse is kind of leaning out here. He's got his head cocked over here. Reins are kind of over here like this, and they, the, whoever was roping on the horse last night was having problems, you know, getting a good start because he just knew that it just didn't feel right, and so he's trying to, but anyways, he goes on with it. Horse never really gets coiled up to leave. Um, he's erratic in the field, the horse just you can just see like there's like the horse is trying to get away from him in here basically so then the guy comes back in to rope another calf on this horse and John says a lighter hold take a lighter hold so now now this guy's got his reins slack and this horse is doing all this stuff so now this guy on a slack rein is trying to get this horse to look ain't happening finally after like three minutes pissing around in here, cocks a knot off, horse leaves too early, pulls a little bit, horse is erratic in the field. It just, it, it just gotta, people that say that this horse is light in the corner is bullshit. The horse is telling you, don't pull on my face or I'm gonna jack you around. Which, how are you gonna get a good start when the horse is telling you not to pull on my face and he's, you know, doing all this stuff like this so this video goes with the video that we did this afternoon of trying to get this horse more prepared for the box out there in our training of just getting a broker horse. So when we get in here and we use our feet to move the horse around and we take a hold of the reins, the horse goes, oh, I felt that before. I felt it tons out there this afternoon. Okay, so that's what we're trying to do is get this horse to where we can take a little bit of a hold of them Get them to spring like a cat when we need them to be athletic and go win us some money. Pull a little bit. There you go. Pull more. There you go. <laughs> Now let him walk slowly. So another little trick, John, that I want you to know. So kind of the other mistake that people can make scoring their horse is if they want to go, especially in the starting stages, I'm going to let them pull on me a little bit because I don't want them to feel like they're going to go like that because you've, kind of instilled it in them like don't you move when the gates make a noise then you get your horse even though you got them tucked you're gonna get them going you know that's I don't know if you see that on camera we don't want that so if he if I crack that gate and he needs to go I'm just gonna feather him into it a little bit and over time pretty soon he's gonna go ah, that's a lot of work to move my feet so I'm just gonna just wait till the, my rider tells me to go because every time I go then he makes me you know go type deal and then I got to do that whole pattern out there to where a lot of times if I get in here and they just kind of pull me for a step then I might just sit here and rub them right and they don't have to do all that work out there and then they get feeling like oh well if I don't pull them out of there I get to stay here and he rubs on me rather than going 
like that saying, don't you move, right? Then they don't get the gist of that they're gonna have to do more work for moving. Get pumped up like you're gonna rope this calf. It's the other thing we haven't talked about. It's like every calf you're gonna rope is like for $10,000. Sometimes I'll let that noise even pull them out of here. I want okay. them to feel secure on that bit, like they can go ahead and pull on it and they're not going to get their face jerked off. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let them, let the gates pull them out of there a little bit. It's another step. Exaggerate the, the taking. There you go. Yeah, better. Okay, so what I would like there for you to do is don't try and get 100% today or tomorrow. Just get a little. Just get a little for a lot, like just fucking get in there. And are you, the main goal is, is you're trying to get them to pack, pull on that bridle a little bit. And you're just pissing them off right there. So you can <laughs> let that gate pull them out of there. Get them used to that. He'll get used to that bridle if you let him pull you out of there to where we haven't done enough out in the other arena yet, right? To get them soft, to get them, soft, to, get them to understand. You definitely don't want to take too much time in here. Just set it up. That's true, eh? If you fiddle around in there too long. Fiddle around. They, they I just I want to see the... Now back up slowly. That's, that's key here. There's no reins. Just hold with the reins and use your feet. Turn this right toe out. Get that bulge out of his ribs as you're backing up. Keep going. Now pin him and nod. There we go. You do lots of that would be the key. So he had his head turned a little bit that That's time. fine for now. Did you see him soften with his head turned? He did. Some of them might might some of them might need it turned a little bit. Like, you know, if that's the worst he's ever gonna be is turn his head a little bit, that's fine. Well he's trying to get past the 
the healers in the states sort of cram them in there and didn't care as long as they'd wait till the header went. Right. And he got healed on quite a bit. I think it's <coughs> easier if you had less bridle. Fuck, I got this bridle is nothing. Yeah, I don't think it's much. It looks fancy on the outside, but it doesn't look so fancy on the inside. It's just a, it's like a snaffle. But it's more than a chain. Chain's even less. Turn your toe out, turn your right toe out, get that bulge out, keep riding, keep riding with your feet, ride with your feet. Get that hip over, right? Get your, get your... So, part of the thing you could get good at was direct him where he hits the corner in the right spot you've got all this time that's why i say go slow move his feet around so you don't get here and now his feet are, are glued to the ground and you're trying to move them get them moved so you hit in the right spot you got all that time to get it done get it done don't try and move him around once you get that's your job your horsemanship to get him to hit that corner square including getting that rib cage in yep right? Let that, let that, I don't want to see that, that mouth jiggle. Let that noise pull him out of there. When I'm seeing that, that jiggle, you're trying to hold him. I don't want him to be held. Let him pull, let them calves pull him out of there for a while. That's how you're going to get him real solid on that bridle. So when you nodded right there, and I see that, like that, because you're not letting him go. Like, let him, when that noise, let him go for a while. Let him go off the bang. Let him go off the bang. I want him in. We're trying to get him on the bridle for the big picture. You did good getting him in the corner last time. Let's see if you can repeat that. You got eyes in the back of your head. You feel, feel, slow. There you go. Okay, so you just find that, that medium hold in here that's not, you know, that's dragging them out of there. And th that is, um, so that was a little bit on the other side, right? Kind of let them go. Like just let them, let the noise pull you. You can squeeze with your legs with the noise, but don't let go with the bridle. How about that one? Okay. Change your hand, will he just start anyway? You don't need to change your hand. What? If you just stay steady, will he just leap? In your mind? Okay, try again. That's your fault. You're the driver. There you go. Nice. Come on, keep driving. There you go. Not a boy. That's what we're talking about. So you must have squeezed with your feet there, right? Rather yeah. than squeeze them up and let that bri let that calf pull them out of there. <laughs>